Okay, those of you who are taking thesis seminar, just a quick reminder about reflections. A couple of things. Um, when you go into classwork, remember each week we'll be doing a weekly journal. And there are two steps. You'll notice that each week there is a file that you can open. You can, um, you can modify. In fact, I would, I would ask that you modify the same document and add your reflection uh, just below where it says learning journal. So again, it's not necessary to open up an additional file. You can use the same file, make the changes here, and that's basically all you have to do. The second step, once you have completed your weekly journal, is to go back to, uh, to Google Classroom and turn it in. And it's a little bit difficult to show you here because um, I, I don't, I'm not logged in as a student. but if you notice here these are those who have turned it in and have received a grade and if you have not turned it in it it appears as missing even though maybe you you went in and you you uploaded your reflection I it shows as missing when you turn it in I get another option at the very top that says it'll have your name and it'll be under turned in so it basically means that you have completed the assignment and it's ready to be graded so for me, I have three different statuses. One is turn in, one is assigned, which means again, the assignment has, been, uh, has not been turned in, regardless if it's been completed or not. Because um, I can go in here and see if you've completed it, but I don't know that you've completed it until you've turned it in. And then of, uh, of course, those who have graded, or have been the, the assignments that have been graded. Okay, so, Again, two things, uh, two tips here for completing your journals. Number one, please include the reflection in the same document. Okay, so just like in week two, you can open up this document and edit the same document. So it's going to look the same each week. The questions are there to help you, to guide you, and to give you some suggestions as to what to include in your reflection. But you can include it right here below and then go back to Google Classroom and turn it in. Again, you can do most of this, if not all of this, in fact, on your cell phone if, uh, if you wish. If you have any questions about how to turn in your uh, reflection, please let me know.